Welcome to the next video of our complete engine rebuild guide. In this one we will unplug the wiring that goes to the engine. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. For today's job, we will need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet driver, and a 10mm socket. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. With the wiring unhooked, let's focus on the wiring that goes towards the engine. This is a 2008 LML motor. The wiring on your bike might be different. Either way, we're going to start off by removing the bolt of the junction box. Open it and reveal the connections. In this case, we can simply unplug them if they are screwed together or something. Don't forget to snap a picture so you know how they go back together. Unplug the coil. And we follow this wire down to the shifter box. This is our neutral indicator. You can simply unplug that. I like to pull the boot off so I don't lose it. Just underneath the cowl is the starter. The starter is connected with one wire through an M10 bolt. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we'll loosen it up. Remove the connector and remove the boot so you don't lose that either. Both of these wires were running behind the coil. We can pull them simply through and loosen them up from the engine. The last connection to the engine is this ground. Simply unscrew it and remove the wire. I recommend putting the bolt back as it is part of the engine shroud hardware so we don't lose it. Now unhook the wiring from the shroud and everything is loose in terms of electrical. Before we put away the hardware, let's make sure we have everything. We are left with the bolt for the junction box, two rubber boots for the wiring, and a M6 nut and washer from the starter. Thank you for watching. Click here to get to the next video in this series. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you like this, you can support us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.